Carla, come over here and help me. We're gonna shoot a video. Sure. What are we gonna shoot it on? We are gonna shoot it on our Lance. We're gonna do an owner's review on it. What do you think about that? That sounds good. Yeah, we'll just do, we've had it for eight months, so we're just gonna give you a little owner's review on that. Maybe give you uh, some top 10 likes. Maybe a few dislikes. Sounds good to me. So uh, stick around, we'll get to it. So welcome back to Runaway Roses. I'm Todd. And I'm Carla. Just in case you don't know us. But uh, we have a 2021 Lance 975. We've had it for about eight months and uh, we've used it a bunch. I don't really don't know how many times we've used it. But... This is actually the first time in the last three months that we've used it. So, um, yeah. you know, but we used it a, a pretty good bit before that. Yeah, we, yeah, exactly. Uh, over the winter here, we haven't had much chance to go camping. Uh, just kind of dealing with some, some other things, but uh, now that the weather's starting to break, it's getting nice and we're out camping this weekend, so we figured we'd just uh, give it a rundown, you know, let's let y'all know how, how good the camper's been, what we like and don't like about it. Yes. I mean, overall, the camper has been a great camper. We've loved it. Yeah. I personally don't uh, have any regrets for buying the Lance. No. It's uh, over um, our other campers that we've had, it just has so many more features that that we love about this camper. Yeah, and it it you know it was the things that like drew us to this camper that you know would like make us like it so much. So like you know I don't know all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Really, I mean it does really make things more comfortable when you're yeah. out camping and and uh, but not just bells and whistles, but there are. Uh, some, you know, just the overall features of it. We'll give you our top 10 that, that uh, you know, we really like about it. So, yeah. um, so that's about it. It's been great. No problems. It's been great for, you know, eight months so far. Knock on wood. Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't have any more or any problems from here on out, but you never know. I mean, it's a camper. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, you know, they, things happen, right? Right. But, we had a really slight slide issue where we were having some slide creep, but it, hasn't happened in a while knock on wood um so you know that's the only thing that's really happened we and you know a few other minor things that we worked through when we first got it but but we got those all worked out. yeah the so. slide did creep out on a few trips not every trip but occasionally it would uh come out about an inch uh during travel and part of that i think is our fault because yeah. in our garage uh when we put the slide out it only goes out about halfway and then we, we'd put it back in and take off um, I, that's usually when it happens. So we found out that when we pulled out, we pull out of the garage, we need to put the slide all the way out and then bring it all the way in. Yeah. And, and that usually solves it. We don't have a problem. We just need to run the full cycle in and out and, and it's been pretty good. And, uh, but that's, that's really the only issue that we've had with it. Yeah. Um, you know, the, uh, the refrigerator, um, it's a little pickier to try to get it to start on, on the propane, but it always it does start. It just seems like it takes a little bit longer than. Right. We found that it, you know most of the time, whenever you get some of the propane going through the lines, it seems to to start up a little bit quicker than you know just starting it right off. It so. just takes it a few cycles before it actually catches. It. I guess before it probably purges the the air out of the line or something. But yeah. um, no big deal. Yeah. But uh, let's get into it. Let's uh, go down our uh, top tens that we like. So yeah. So what is the first one that that uh, you like? So I would say um, one of the reasons why we got this camper. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is the dry bath. I mean, I absolutely love the dry bath. It's not huge. Um, you know, it is a little tight for a dry bath, but it's you know, for me, it's it's worked out great and. You know, the problem with having a wet bath is you had to wipe it down. You had to move everything out before you took a shower, wipe it down, or take the shower, wipe it down after you took a shower, and then move everything back in. It was just such a hassle. And with this one, we don't have to do that. Yeah, the dry bath is a game changer. That almost single-handedly is the, the main reason that we got this camper, really, or got another yeah. one from our Northern Light. Um, but yeah, the dry bath, that is, that it's fantastic. I yeah. love having the dry bath. Yep. So, and then uh, our number two is 
interior finishes. Um, the interior finishes on this camper are more uh, residential, more modern, and I, I just really love them. There's, you know, the from the vinyl plank look floor to the um, cabinets and the countertops. I mean, it's just all, it's yeah. really high quality. The marble and, style countertops yeah. and the faucets and the shower, the yeah, you the, know, it's all, you know, the black hardware and it's got the pull out uh, mm -hmm. thing for the sink. Uh, you know, just the finishing in there is yeah. is it's nice i mean it, it may not be for everyone i know like i do really really love the interiors of airstreams where it's like really really clean and really you know more modern looking but as far as like this one's more like a like you're living in a house almost yeah. i would say yeah yeah we've really enjoyed that that part of the camper yeah it, it's been nice yeah and then our number three would be is um, the exterior space, and and what I mean by that is like um, the on the power awnings. Well, first of all, the power awning for a truck camper is a game changer because, as a lot of you know who have truck campers, it's hard to get the awning out whenever you have it on your truck. If you don't take your your camper off your truck for the weekend, and then you need to get it out, it, you have to get a ladder to like you know, get the awning out. And with this, you just press a button and it. Or at least to get the slide legs out, at least on yeah. our old one. Yeah. I mean, you could get the crank and crank it out and yeah. it come out, but yeah. in order to get the legs to come out and, and support it, yeah. you have to get up, either, I'd have to either pull a table over or bring a ladder or just stand on something. Yeah. So that, that that's what push button powered awning is fantastic. And uh, Yeah. And so like, you know, that sort of, when I say exterior space, it's all encompassing. It's like, you know, the exterior lighting and the, um, uh, speakers. the speakers, the, you know, the, the speakers, having the speakers on the outside, we found, because in our Northern Light, we did not have speakers on the outside. We found that we really enjoy having speakers on the outside of our camper, because yeah. when we hang out outside the camper, in this campground, we, we can't really do that, but when we hang out outside the camper, it's just nice to be able to, like, pipe music out there yeah. and, you know. Yeah, we're, we're music people, so yeah. we like to have a lot of music playing. And when we had our Bigfoot, it had speakers, and that was our first experience with exterior speakers, and we, we learned that we really did enjoy it and use them. So when we didn't have it, we kind of missed it. So we have the, that again, and we really love that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, the next one is the um, interior space, the, the floor plan, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We. We both love the interior uh, floor plan of this camper. Uh, it's worked out well. I mean, it only has one slide, so yeah. of course you can get bigger, uh, you know, truck campers yeah. with more slides. But just without just that one slide, it's a game changer. Whether you love them or you hate them, they yeah. provide extra space in there, and you gotta give it that. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely is one of those things. But it, it's I feel like it's worth it. I wish we could get that kind of space out of something, uh, you know, with no slides, but it is what it is. And, but it's just roomy in there. There's plenty of room for Carl and I to pass by each other, and uh, we're not, you know, bumping into each other. And the interior height is good. Um, just the overall layout, we've been very happy with. Been, yeah. it's been, been very comfortable. Yep. Yeah. And uh, was it number four? We up to? Uh, actually, number five. Number five. Number five is uh, the windows, and I think we both agree that oh. the windows are, you know, we really like these windows. Yeah, they are nice. I mean, they're just, you know, the tinted, the glass, you know, the glass that they're frameless, so you don't yeah. see the frames on the outside, and just, you know, tinted glass, real smooth, clean look. Yeah. And um, they function really well. They look so nice on the outside, as you can see over there in, in the, the background. They yeah. just they just look really nice, and that's what I like about them. The more aesthetic. Yeah. And they're feel. Uh, thermopane windows, mm -hmm. and you can open them up, and the screen is already in place, so the bugs aren't going to come in. And uh, so yeah, we love the windows. Yeah. Um, number six. Um, I really, really love the lighting in the bed area. Um, there's like some little um, lamps that you can use, like reading lights on that, you know, in the corners of the bed mm -hmm. area. And then there's also like a sort of halo lighting up in the headroom. What do yeah, you call it's that? a recess lighting. Recess That's lighting. Up in there. And then as far as the reading lights, it also has like this, these little blue lights that you can use just sort of as a more subtle light. It's not so bright that you can see in there, but you know, we'll, we'll show 
that so you can see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, well, when you're laying up there in bed and it's dark, you can just turn the little blue light on. It's just enough, yeah. you know, it's not overpowering, you know, bright reading lights. So. And on a side note, one thing that I don't care too much for about the lights there, and this is just a preference, uh, is where the button's located. It's like up above the closet. I wish it was more like right as you go into the bed area. I feel like that would be more... For the recess light. Yeah, for the recess lighting. I feel like that would be more functional yeah. for me, but yeah, yeah, that's just a preference. Yeah. Um, let's see, we're on number... Number seven. Number seven is the Ultra Deck. The Ultra Deck, yeah. Now the Ultra Deck, we love the Ultra Deck. I, I mean, I especially love it just because I guess I'm the one that's kind of in and out of it all the time. But the Ultra Deck along with the exterior storage of the camper is fantastic because you know the ultra deck it has storage on both sides and then has the pull out in the center and then that there's more storage in that but not only that but when you step out of the camper if you on that ultra deck if you pull that center section out just leave it out as a platform which is what we do it gives you a nice area a stepping pad outside the camper a little platform there to uh, step out onto so that's really nice and then this uh, 975 model that we have has additional storage on each side of the camper. And uh, so it's it just has a lot more exterior storage than some of the other models of uh, campers that we've looked at. And yeah. it's been fantastic having all that to put all the exterior stuff that's, you know, wet or, you know, muddy or whatever. You just put it in the box and uh, in the bumper and uh, just, you don't have to worry about it. You can hose it out later. So mm -hmm. it's... It, yeah. it, it, it's a big deal. We really enjoyed that. I mean, I know it's a, a big expense when you buy a yeah. Lance Camper because they don't all come with it, but... I would say it's worth it's it. It's well worth the, the money, in my opinion. Yeah, because yeah, it, it just... That, that extra storage that it provides. It's yeah, really I mean, nice. you got to have it because, I mean, when you put the truck or the camper in the back of the truck, you lose the bed of your truck. So, mm -hmm. where you know, you got to find some places to have storage. So, yeah, yeah that, that's a good one. So number seven is a is no, a you no. thing. Yeah, it is a me thing. Yeah. It's a door. Yeah. No, that'd be number eight. Oh, okay. And the uh, the exterior door is definitely a me thing, just because of my height and the door so tall, it's like five or six inches taller than me, so I cannot bump my head walking in in and out of the camper, and I love that because I've hit my head on every. Uh, camper door in every camper we've ever had. They've all been too short and man, I'm only six foot so it's not like I'm super tall but I've always had to duck to go outside the door so in this one it's just tall and I love it. It's great. That was an, actually when we were shopping for another camper that was one of the main things for me uh, that we we're looking for. Yeah. Tired of, hit, tired of bumping my head and that's no fun. Yep. So uh, number nine then, I guess. Hopefully yeah. we're on the right number. I don't, I don't know. We I didn't... don't think we are. I think that, um, <laughs> well, it's co according to my list, and I may have gotten us off somewhere, but according to my list, we're on number uh, eight. Okay. So um, the structural... The structural integrity of the camper, I think, is top notch. It feels very solid. That is one thing I love about it. The floor inside the camper you walk around, it just feels solid. Yeah. It's it's more, it feels more solid than any camper uh, that we've ever had. And uh, I mean, it's just, I don't, can't, it's hard to really explain until you walk on it, especially barefoot and just feel it solid. You don't, like some of the campers, you know, you can feel the ribs in the floor, or the, the plywood flexing or something like that. Not in this thing, it's just solid. And then, uh, you know, the walls and all that feel great, you know, you know from what I can tell. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is the roof, I love having a walk-on roof because uh, it's flat. I can get up there and walk around on it. It feels solid and, and I'm not light. So for me to get up there and walk around, feel comfortable is kind of a big thing because I've always been a little bit nervous getting on top of our fiberglass campers and trying to walk around up there. I always kind of felt like maybe I was probably a little bit too heavy. Although I, mean, I was able to get up there, I'd have to kind of crawl around on all fours. I wouldn't really walk around on this. I can just walk around with a blower or whatever I want to do up there and yeah. and uh, yeah, it's really like that about it. Yeah. The last one, last but not least, and I got actually had kind of touched on it whenever I said the exterior space is the exterior lighting. The exterior lighting, yeah. 
I do love the exterior lighting on this thing uh, because it has a light on each side as well as the back. So mm -hmm. uh, our other campers didn't have that. I mean, they all had a light on the back and uh, one of them had on, on the side, one side, but this one has it on both sides and mm -hmm. the back. So, and you can turn it on from inside. You don't have to be outside the camper to turn yeah. it on. So, you know, if you're in the camper and it's dark and uh, you know, you hear noise or whatever, you can flip all the lights on from the inside and just light it up around you. Yeah, and it really lights it up. I still have to learn all the switches because every time I want to turn something on, I press the wrong switch. Yeah, and, the, and they're two-way switches <laughs> because the lights will do white light or mm -hmm. they'll do amber lights all the way around if you want to just you know be subtle. Yeah. But you can turn all the white lights on. But not only that, but it has those three lights there on both sides and the back. But also on the back, it has two more additional, what they call docking lights that you can turn on as well. And they're even like brighter, like floodlights kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I mean, you can you can light it up around the campground if you if you want to. And I love that about this I really camper. think that Lance thought through the whole lighting thing well, because that's something that in actually, you know, a lot of our other campers we haven't really had, so. Yeah, yeah, most of them don't have all that great of lighting, but yeah, they, mm -hmm. They were, it's a well thought out camper. Yes. Overall, it's a very well thought out camper. And I can see why it's so popular and why so many people love it. I mean, yes, Carl and I are, uh, you know, we typically are molded fiberglass camper people. You know, that's what we do love. And so it was kind of a big deal for us to get away from the molded fiberglass. And we still occasionally will go to some of the rallies. They, they still allow us at a rally or two, especially like the egg rally and s'more because we're a s'more now. But, huh. um, and yeah. we, we still look at them and think, you know, maybe at some point we'll go back to a fiberglass, but right yeah. now we're enjoying our lands. Yeah, we probably will eventually uh, after they catch up with some of the you know, catch up to some of the things the Lance are doing, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they really do need to step it up, even, uh, you know, Northern Light and Bigfoot. If they're going to have a truck camper that's molded fiberglass, they're both nice. I, I mean, I love them both, yeah. but they both lack a lot of extra features that this Lance has. It's, and they're, they're really, uh, to me, I think, personally, I think it's more like the aesthetic things. Like, I love the Northern Light the wood on the inside, but I still feel like there's, it was like missing something as far as like making it more modern. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but. Yeah, I mean, I loved our, our Northern Light. It was yeah. great. And we would probably, st we would still have it if it had a dry bath. Yes, we yeah. would. We wouldn't have even I mean, started yeah. looking Or, or not, not trying to, yeah. yeah, you know, be negative about, you know, any other camper. No. Uh, Cause we did love our Northern Light. Yes. And we would love to try out a Bigfoot truck yeah. camper. We really would, cause it's, the Bigfoot has some features that's similar to this. Yes. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe maybe they'll both step up in the next few years and uh, take a look at uh, what Lance is doing and some of those extra features. And, and you know, if one of them, if one of those two could add in this uh, Ultra Deck uh, bumper, which is made by Torque Lift, mm -hmm. if they could incorporate that into their setup on, yes. on one of those two or both of them, that, that'd be another game changer right there because it's it's worth having. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they'll, maybe somebody will watch this video and they'll listen to us on but that. But that's a whole that nother video for another time. We're gonna yeah. do a video at some point on our perfect camper, not just truck camper, like our perfect camper. And so stay tuned for that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get around to that. We got a list of things we'd like to yes. have to see in one, but. Uh, yeah. Well, that's about it uh, for our, uh, I guess our. Well, we're gonna do a few negatives. Oh, okay, well, let's do that. Okay. So there aren't many, like, and, and I wouldn't even really say they're negative, but um, the, the first one that stands out to both of us is, you know, and especially Taylor, is the dog friendliness. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not really like, in our, in our Northern Light we had, you know, a window on the door and the, the going into the cab of the truck, like going through the cab of the truck. So it was like a pass-through window, yeah. like you could see through. She could see out both ends. Yeah, and she could easily get on the dinette, easily get on the bed. In, in this camper, she, she can't get on the dinette. Yeah. Or she has a hip problem, or a knee problem, basically. She has a torn ACL. 
So she can't get on the, the dinette, she can't get on the bed. So she just kind of like is down inside the camper and can't see out. We have to like lift her up when, when yeah. we want her to be able to see out. So. Yeah, Taylor was definitely more of a Northern Light fan than the Lance <laughs> fan. She just is. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it was uh, a, a better dog friendly truck camper. But I mean, she she does fine in this one and she is older. So she mainly just sleeps or, you know, and we're, we're anywhere anyway. in there and we can, I'll pick her up and put her on the seat at the dinette so she can look out the windows. Yeah. But that is something that I have to do. I have to pick her up and put her on the seat. To and one other thing, outside. one other thing that he does do is he doesn't, it's too much, but in the mornings, whenever I'm still in bed and he gets up to make coffee, Taylor comes over, like taps over and she like wants to get up on the bed. So he'll lift her up and put her on the bed with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that in the mornings after I get out of bed, put yeah, her up there. And she loves that, so yeah. at least she gets that. <laughs> One of the other negatives about this truck camper that, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's kind of bothersome to me, is the, uh, the cable that goes from the truck camper to the bed of the truck. It's short and it has its own Lance proprietary plug, and it's just kind of a pain in the butt because I had to wire it in myself which I know a dealer would probably do it uh, but I wired it in myself which is not a big deal but it's it's just kind of short it's only like 36 inches long so you got to like get the camper in and then you got to remember to plug it in and make sure it's not going to get uh, tucked underneath or anything and it just seems like it could have been a regular seven pin uh, plug and then you could have used an extension if you wanted to and just I don't know that's just me. Uh, I don't. I don't like that pr proprietary plug that they use, but I mean it works. It works fine. I think it's because it has a higher gauge uh, power wire, which helps charge the batteries better and all that. So, and I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, but it could just be longer. But like, yeah, if like it was longer, like it, if it was a, yeah, I mean if it was longer, it'd be better. Just a foot longer. I mean it's just like it's just like just too short. But you know, but. <laughs> It is what it is. I mean, it's not a big deal. We, we, we get by. And one other just really super minor thing, and I, I, it's minor to me, it could be a big deal for other people, but is the counter space in the kitchen. There's not really much counter space in this, in the 975. Um, there's enough for us. I mean, you know, I, I prepare food for he and I, so it's, you know, you can put the, the uh, sink cover in one side and make some extra space and still have your sink that you can use. So mm -hmm. it, you know, and, and it does keep me from sitting dishes around the sink. So that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are some other models that have yeah. uh, more countertop space. This particular model does not have a lot, but it's, it's been fine. We, yeah. You know, it's not really been a big deal, but no. you know, it would be nice to have more, but, um, but also I guess because of the way that the camper is the floor plan, going back to that real quick, is what we do like about it is having the rear kitchen and rear dinette yes. and gives more rear windows so uh, we're looking out the back of the camper at whatever the view is uh, more so than like our old uh, northern light that we had where it didn't really have much of a view other than just out the two side windows that's a bonus light because so, we i didn't even think about that but that is a big one for us that it's was so, a big one for us it's so nice to be able to like have that view and that's another reason why the bigfoot appealed to the bigfoot yeah, because it's got that same yeah. similar layout, rear rear kitchen and dinette layout, which we really yeah. do like. And uh, so that's one of the main reasons, in addition to the uh, dry bath, that uh, we like this floor plan, mm -hmm. this model. So, yep. Well, that's about it. We do love our camper, and uh, you know we're gonna we're planning to camp in it for a long time until uh, you know somebody can come up with the molded fiberglass that's, that's as good as this thing. Yep. And then maybe we'll change. Who knows? So you know. But uh, hope you all enjoy the video. Maybe uh, if you're out shopping, maybe it'll help you. You know, give you some things to think about. And uh, so until next time, we'll see you on Runaway Roses. Bye bye. Bye bye.